All new tonight, a St. Louis funeral director fighting to be considered a frontline worker. He tells News 4's Kim St. Ange his staff doesn't have access to proper protective gear to keep them safe from COVID-19. Kim is live for us in the Central West End. Sam, one of the very first calls hospitals like Barnes would make after someone dies from COVID-19 would be to a funeral home. A North City funeral director says his staff is at a high risk of getting COVID-19, but are not getting near the same level of protection as frontline workers. This is the glove we need. This glove we've had to set for, and these are the ones we set. Not only is his supply running low, Ronald Jones is having a hard time getting the protective clothing he needs, including gloves that don't easily rip. And I had one supplier tell me it'd be six months before we could get uh, protective clothing. Jones is the director at Ronald L. Jones Funeral Chapel in North City. We need to be put on the priority list for supplies. You understand? Because of the fact that we call we're not on the mandatory supply list. So therefore, we are just like some stranger coming off the street trying to acquire necessary protective clothing. His crews wear hazmat suits on just about every call right now. When we go to pick these remains up, that's the challenge. They're treating everyone as a possible COVID-19 victim. If you move a body, the lung still can contract and it can come out of their nose or their mouth. Right now, Jones is paying for his staff's PPE, but thinks the government should step up and help during this pandemic. I think it should be on a national level because I'm not just concerned about myself as a funeral director. I'm concerned about every funeral director in the country because they're faced with the same problem and same risks that I am. Tonight, St. Louis City still waiting to receive money from the state of Missouri through the CARES Act to help with COVID-19 right here in the city. A spokesperson for the mayor's office tonight telling me once the city receives that funding, they would definitely consider helping funeral homes. Live in the Central West End, Kim St. Ange, News 4.